Hi everyone, so this is our second video for us trying to do flip learning in the classroom. So we're all sat in there. So we're doing this because it's, if you have any issues then I'm here to help you. Uh, so it's talking about what these numbers mean. So it says A, X plus P all squared plus Q. So it says the vertex, like the, the bottom or the top of it, the stationary point and turning point is minus PQ. So if I had something which was x minus 3 squared plus 1, it's a u-shaped curve because a is positive, but the vertex, the bottom of it, is 3, so notice you change the sign on that bit, and then it's just the dot of a number. So I have a, a curve where the bottom of the curve is 3 comma 1. If I had something which was y equals minus x plus 2 squared, oops, plus 1, then I've got an n-shaped curve, an upside-down curve, because of a minus at the front, because a is less than 0, and then the 2 becomes a minus 2 and a plus 1, so it's going to be something which looks like that. So the vertex there, which is now a maximum point, will be at minus 2, 1. So change the sign on that one, keep the sign the same on that one. The line of symmetry, so if you imagine a mirror line, Go straight down the middle, straight through the vertex on my dodgy pictures. There. But then the vertex also tells you how we moved it from x squared. So the x squared graph was there, I moved it 3 to the right and 1 up for that graph. Yeah. Right, so let's keep on going then, that's a bit of theory done. So it says, state the coordinates of the vertices for the following quadratic graphs. So the vertex here. Is change the sign stays the same. The vertex here, change the sign stays the same. So that's the vertex bit. Then it says state whether it's max or min. So max or min, so this because it's positive, this is a U-shape, so this is a min point. This one, because it's negative at the start, is a N shape, so that's a max point. So that's the min or max. And state the equation of the line of symmetry. So that's the x value where the vertex is. So the line of symmetry, the LOS, is x is equal to minus 6. The line of symmetry here, so it lines up with the vertex, is x is equal to 5. So from our graphs, because the vertex is minus 6, 4. It would have a mirror line at x equals minus 6. So it's a question for you to have a go at. Same idea. So the vertices, the max or min, and the line of symmetry. So once again, ideally pause it, have a go at it, and then check your answers. There. there we go. So max because it's an n shape, and min because it's a u shape. So that makes it min, that makes it an, an n shape. That makes it a U shape. Right, here we go. So it says express that in the form of there. Now I think we've got quite a lot of writing to do in this part, so I'll have to write small for it. And I'm on 3 minutes 37. So I'm taking out the 3, and I've got an x squared minus 4x, and then a plus 32. And then I'm going to do completing the square on the bit on the inside, because that's a minus 4x in there, isn't it? So it's going to be x minus 2 squared minus 4 plus 32. So then I would have 3 lots of x minus 2 squared. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 plus my 32. Gives me 3 lots of x minus 2 squared plus 20. Double check, that's right. Cool. Right, so does the equation have any real solutions? So let's think about this picture. It's a U-shaped graph with a vertex of 220. So let's have a think about it. If it's a U-shaped graph with a vertex at 220, it can't possibly have any roots. So if you look, so the vertex, so it's a U-shaped graph, And the vertex, 220, 
is above the x-axis. Therefore, no real roots. There we go. Right. That's good for us. So then it says, given that this has got repeated roots, find the value. Right, so let's have a think about this equation. So part B was an equation of 3x squared minus 12x plus 32. And it had a vertex, which was 20 high there. Now what I want to do, I want to drag that vertex down to the line to make it a repeated root. So I've got my 3x squared minus 12x plus 32. But what I want to do is drag the whole graph down by 20. And if I do that, my graph will now sit there at 2 across. So my equation is 3x squared minus 12x plus 12. So it's telling me that k is 12. There, there you go. That's all right. Right. There's one for you to have a go at. So once I set, pause it, have a go, and then have a look at it. There's one slight difference with how I've done part two to how the pack's done. So I should reveal it. So this bit here, I would say that it's a U-shaped graph. And the vertex is 3 over 2, 6. So that's above the x-axis. Therefore, no movements. You've explained it, it's fine. There. And then say for this one, because it sits high, you don't want to take 6 off the 15, I think it was. There. So I've done ever so slightly differently for this one as well. Because my graph was 6 high, so I had a graph which was sitting 6 above, and I wanted to drag it down 6, so I did oops, 4x squared minus 12x, the original graph was plus 15, and I'm moving it down 6 so it sits on the axes. Yeah, so my k is 9. There we go. Easy peasy. Well, so we're on six minutes now for that bit. So if we look on the next page, there's more to be done. But if you look, we're down to the consolidation questions. So I'm at six minutes, so I'm going to stop here. So it looks like you've got three videos, but we've only done 13 minutes of chatter. But it's better that the 13 minutes of chatter at home is better than in the class. So